Nikola Jokic and Luka Doncic teaming up on the Denver Nuggets could be one of the biggest what-ifs in recent NBA history as Nuggets insider Mike Singer went on the Hoop Collective, which is the podcast of Brian Windhorst of ESPN, and he was talking about how the Nuggets had serious interest in trading for Luka Doncic or trading up to draft Luka Doncic at the time, and then they wanted to pair him with Nikola Jokic. So basically, what ended up happening is the Dallas Mavericks were the team that made the trade for Luka Doncic and they're very happy with the way everything played out. They originally had the number five overall pick in that year's draft and they ended up trading the draft rights to what ended up becoming Trey Young and also a first round pick the next year which ended up becoming Cam Reddish for the number three overall pick which was Luka Doncic and that was the draft where the Sacramento Kings drafted Mar Marvin Bagley at number two after DeAndre Ayton went to Phoenix at number one and after that there was a row of really really good all-star caliber players as Luka Doncic went went three. Jaron Jackson Jr. went four and Trey Young went five. So the Suns and the Kings definitely regretting their picks for a long time. But anyways, where the report of Luka Doncic to the Nuggets comes in is the Sacramento Kings declined an offer as the Nuggets offered them Gary Harris and two first round picks for the number two overall pick in which they were going to draft Luka Doncic after Aiton went to the Suns. And then one of the reasons why the trade package ended up falling through is because the Nuggets refused to include Jamal Murray in any packages. The Nuggets also refused to include Jamal Murray in any potential packages to acquire Anthony Davis at the time. So it's very well possible that if the Nuggets were willing to part ways with Jamal Murray at the time, they could either have a duo of Nikola Jokic and Luka Doncic or Nikola Jokic and Anthony Davis. And now if you look at the Doncic and Jokic pairing, obviously this was linked and this was talked about because now they are very good friends. They are some of each other's best friends in the NBA and they're also two top three players in the league obviously there's very ball dominant there's questions how would they fit together I'm not sure we might never know but this is definitely one of the more massive what ifs in recent NBA history